all right today we are going to review this uh, phone charger which i had with me for a while a friend of mine requested me to get this for him so it's been with me for a while but i have um, been reluctant to open it and you know i have installed these three to four times on my bike and for others but this is the first time i'll be re uh, reviewing it so this is kind of a, like a ripoff version of uh, ram mounts it's like for 400 rupees so it comes with this um, rubber extra holder for your phone it comes with some extra components over here <coughs> so basically speaking this is like a ram mount ripoff and uh, it's nothing more than that oh so yeah this is the basic structure of the whole thing and yeah we have a 5 volt 2 amps output over here usually it's not a 5 volt 2 amps output it's gonna be a 5 volt 1 amp we have a tiny switch on the side it comes pre-installed with the rubber gasket on the side and then we have these four holders which kind of like soften your grip i mean so far i've used this um, this mechanism hasn't failed i mean i wouldn't take it for like a hundred percent assurance that it won't fail but yes then other than that the majority of people which i've noticed doing is they forget to stick this over here this actually protects your phone from getting scratched from the back because this is hard plastic over here so um, i've noticed people not sticking this and this is like a tiny heads up which i wanted to give because i had this opportunity to have it with me so they give two of these and then they give one of the tightening things and then the bolt this is a little bit different from what i had but this thing is almost the same anywhere around so yeah i've noticed that the paint sometimes chips off so you have to be careful about that too the paint once you know it chips off these uh, powder coated metal parts it usually starts rusting so i would recommend applying some grease i mean any grease of any sort would be perfect i usually use this and just give it a rough coat on top of it before i apply it uh, anything with your fingers more than enough you get spare two of these rubber holders for the top of these and this cost around um, 400 rupees i got it for 450 when it was in the market it was around 500 600 rupees now it has gone exponentially low because i don't know it's been not a lot of people buying it or i don't know it it's it's pretty good charger if you ask me and yeah this goes to the battery or if you are a person who knows wiring pretty well you can connect it to your ignition and that's quite tricky to get the brown wire from the ignition key uh yeah that's that so yeah this sticks over here you can remove the double side tape and stick that over there uh, what i would recommend other than that is also applying some grease right over here inside this usb port because if in case you forget to cover it up with you know this rubber gasket it usually ends up getting filled with water and then gets rusted so we have a tiny switch over here so that switch you know helps us turn the charger on and off so i won't be able to speak but i'm just gonna connect the positive and negative on this cable to that charger so till i i mean i have to hold the camera in my mouth so there's no other option <laughs> so you guys have to wait it out okay So once you have it connected, this is probably there's gonna be blue light that shines inside to show whether it's on. So if you switch it off from here, it turns off. And then if you turn it on over here, it turns on. So that's that. Now what we are going to do is we are going to get a USB cable and check the actual voltage readings that's coming out of these uh, this USB power bank. So we have uh, I mean USB charger. So we're gonna put this in 20 volts and see the reading. Even though it's stated 1, 5, 5 volts, it would be roughly around 5.1, 5.2. That's generally how this thing works. And um, I'm pretty sure it can't even give the amperage it's rated at, which is 5 volt 2 amps. It's going to be 5 volt 1 amp. So don't expect any sort of quick charging. This is the basic of the basic charger you can get for your phone or your power bank. Because um, better than nothing and having an endless source of power from your bike coming into a, uh, a USB port is very reliable. And please do remember to close this when you're washing and if you're not using, yeah, if you want to save your idle battery, yeah, you can go ahead and turn it off. That is also a very good option. So yeah, uh, tips to maintain and to, you know, take care of your charger. As I said, 
uh, put grease all over these components rub, uh, you know, rub it off lightly on top of it including the tightener the bolt any metal component you can see I, I would recommend you you know tightening up and putting a little bit grease on top of that so as I've mentioned in the you know, unboxing video this is basically it being installed on the bike and it's uh, it's not really, it's not that different from how you have seen this is a little bit different version of that um, I've got this uh, one year ago so as you can see this is the current state of how the insides look like and that's the rubber gasket so yeah I haven't lost the gasket till now but I have lost uh, two or three of these so I had to use the spares and that's probably my last set remaining right now so this is the guy as I, as I was saying now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to put the phone on it so you gotta just open this up and place it now there are a few things which I've noted is that um, sometimes the power button can press uh, can get squeezed like this and then the, you know the menu comes up yes that's quite annoying at times but other than that um, what I've noticed is that uh, most of the things remain pretty quick uh, pretty tight and snuggy now this doesn't exactly quite work well work with my phone mainly because of the fact that my phone is humongous and other than that it's a very good fit I wouldn't take it for high speed cruising though I would definitely keep it under a mellow speed for you know some certain situations now you can remove it with one hand but I wouldn't recommend that too so right now I'm recording so I'm removing it with one hand now we're gonna connect the charger and show a demo of um, how it works so you gotta make sure that the light is turned on and your bike is in on state and um, connect the USB charger all right and then also make sure that your phone detects that it's charging so now we have um, charging over here so yeah that's the whole point now what I have noticed is that iPhones do not generally accept such a charger um, some of these chargers don't work with iPhones I would recommend before you buy this check it at the shop you're buying whether it actually works with the iPhone or not because iPhone has this Apple certified charging circuit which certainly like it has a data cable connection the, the red and green wire inside the charger has to be connected a certain way and I found that not a lot of charges incorporate this but definitely for Androids and power banks and stuff like that that doesn't require fast charging this charger is go it's like the best option to go for so yeah that's how it is and after you're done with the charging and stuff you can just close this up and then yeah this is the possible mounting point which I found comfortable for my bike some people have mounted it over here that's where I did it before actually I have tried it over here too but this is the best spot as far as I'm concerned so yeah um, yeah, if you have WD-40, which is like a spray, lubricant spray, you can have a quick spray inside these tiny gaps because yes, those gaps are not protected from the weather. So you can keep that also in mind. And I hope this video helps out people who are willing to, you know, thinking of buying the fake RAM mount charger. I mean, the real RAM mount is very expensive, but yeah, I think this does a very good job. I don't think people should spend 5,000, 6,000 rupees on a phone charger. Functionality wise and design wise this does the job. I don't think anyone needs to spend that much money So I hope this video has helped you out if it if you did like it hit up th hit up th hit that thumbs up button and Subscribe if you want more content like this and if you want an installation video on this let me know I shall make an installation video on this. Thank you. Peace out